Yeah, hi. Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, my name is Jay Podyal. And uh, I'm very thankful to Mr. Pankaj. Uh, I mean, uh, he has given me an opportunity to speak to you about uh, uh, the market of premium domain names. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's it's uh, pretty good to speak here in this uh, Startup India group. I think uh, you, uh, you have uh, more than uh, 5,000 members in your group. Okay. So uh, let's see how many, uh, I mean, people turn up here uh, today. No problem. I, I like I can come again and, uh, you know, take uh, this webinar. And uh, see, uh, somehow I'm also associated with this startup system because, uh, you know, uh, I am also into startups. Uh, I mean, we have several ventures like, uh, see, for domaining, domaining is my passion. And uh, yes, of course, do, I do domaining for my uh, uh, earning, you can say, or you can say like I'm sitting on my domain investment and earning passively sometimes, some months, some year, you can say, right? Okay. So it's been, I mean, uh, it's been more than 20 years of my domaining journey. And apart from that, uh, we have a couple of e-commerce store, D2C brands, and uh, uh, and we have two SaaS products also. And uh, I mean, I can call it startup. Uh, we are into employee monitoring software. We sell, uh, you know, it's a SaaS-based model, basically. Uh, and 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 we and we have so many people who are uh, from SaaS background today. And apart from that, uh, you know, I have uh, I mean started multiple startups, some failed and some uh, flourished. Okay, and they are now they are my. Uh, uh, I mean, leading revenue stream for our team, for our management, for our employees as well. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, this uh, uh, this startup thing, uh, this this startup world. I mean, we have. I mean, there are so many people in India and across the globe who have fantasized about this startup thing. Let's build a startup and make it unicorn, or or, or take to at some level where we can earn good amount of money, where where we can of course generate employment in your region. Or these days, uh, I mean, so many people, so many companies are giving work from home jobs, so we can create employment globally as well. Okay, so uh, I mean. It's a great opportunity to speak here about this uh, domaining thing. So, I mean, there are uh, more than um, one uh, terminology for this business. Uh, some, you can call it domaining, you can call it domain name investing, you can call it, uh, I mean, uh, uh, domain name business, or you can call it Oh, uh, premium domain name uh, buy sell business. I, I mean, there are many names. Okay, uh, all are same, right? So uh, today we will learn about what is this system and how this system works. Okay, I have uh, prepared a special slide for you. Let's see. I mean, in this uh, one and a half hour session how much I can cover, okay? If I miss anything, I will cover it, uh, uh, cover next time definitely. And uh, today we are going to learn a kind of, uh, you know, bookish way or kind of uh, uh, discussion. And, and at the last, we will take q &A also. So in next webinar, I will show you how these things work practically by opening you know platforms uh, uh, the control panel some tools which is available online right so let's uh, start 
today's webinar, I'm sharing a screen in front of you. Just a moment. Yes. Yes, where is that file? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, hello, hello. Hello, Sachin. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. So, hmm. now we can start and I'm sharing my slides with you. Okay. Just a moment, guys. I need to check. Yes, I'm sharing my screen. Hmm. I'm trying to share a single PDF. Oh, I am not able to do so. Okay, no problem. I'm sharing my screen. Uh, can you see my screen? I need a couple of yeses. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's begin, okay? And thank you, thank you again, Startup India, and thank you, uh, Mr. Pankaj, uh, for giving me this opportunity to speak about domain after market business with your community member. Okay, now let's begin. So, what will you learn from today's session? What's a domain name? I mean, many of uh, you must be knowing, like, what is domain name? Okay, and and, and concept of domain name after market and. Uh, how aftermarket business works and category of domain names what are the categories what are the best what are the good okay and and in which category you should not enter okay okay i will tell you why also and listing and selling premium domain names uh i'm I'll speak about some platforms i'll speak about some tools and in in this in next session i will uh you know show you all the things practically the platforms the tools and each and everything okay next slide so what's a domain name domain name is basically unique identifier of web addresses we have web, web addresses like uh, uh, domain aftermarket pro.com like facebook.com like godaddy.com okay to access any content from the internet we need an address which we can remember okay uh, technically we can also uh, access content from the ip address but ip address is not uh, the thing you can memorize so easily so uh, so so technology so tech companies i mean tech uh, giants tech uh, uh, corporations some organization they come up with the solution uh, i mean uh, by having domain names you can access an address which you cannot remember which is difficult to remember right and i can is that organization internet corporation for assigned name and numbers you can read about uh, the history of i can and and the mission and vision of i can by just googling it right so what are domain names in technical terms unique identifier of web address or simply we can say web address right and few acronyms to learn before we start. TLD, top level domain names, uh, the, the extreme part of, uh, extreme right part, 
part of the domain name like in godaddy.com dot com is uh, the the tld and facebook.com dot com is the tld in uh, startupindia.org or is the tld cctld the cctlds are country code top level domains means like dot in dot jp dot uk and uh, like dot io uh, right and uh, and gtld new gtlds i mean you have you must have seen um, uh, you know some different extensions some new age extension like dot tool dot club dot music dot lawyer dot attorney dot photography is also there like if you, if you are a photographer you can take your uh, you know the brand name or your name in dot photography extension as well yes uh, i have a chat yeah yeah hi uh, chanchal uh, there are more than uh, till date there are more than 1500 uh, total extensions yes yes i i cannot i cannot tell you the exact number exact number you can always google it and and for uh, uh, as far as my information is concerned my knowledge is concerned uh, they are uh, in numbers more than 1500 and http is hypertext transfer protocol triple w is worldwide web okay now next opportunities and demand see you guys are from the startup industry from the startup ecosystem from um, uh, i mean um, uh, the the business background i must say okay um, and we have seen you know daily lacks of businesses and individuals joining this online community right as an user also and apart from that uh, they build their web identity uh, their online presence if you need your you build uh, your uh, online identity then you must need uh, you know domain name so that others can access your content it, content can be video content can be text images etc and an existing market growth okay and and we have, we have seen Uh, this uh, online this digital market is growing exponentially right and and we have strong st a strong startup ecosystem in india india as well in i mean we have seen in so many countries the government supports startup ecosystem and there are some organizations some known some uh, non profit organization uh, are also there who supports a uh, startup system in their region okay so if any startup is starting any kind of business whether it is e-commerce store whether it is you know content rich news portal content rich uh, uh, blog or or any business per se any saas company it can be any saas company it can be uh, any uh, online uh, product selling company any service provider they all need a domain name not a domain name a good domain name right a good domain name and and uh, and and these days see once upon a time it it was very difficult to convince the you know prospect or buyer to fetch even you know 10000 rupees for a domain name i mean but these days there are uh, the, you know so many conferences happening around the world and they and and there's a buzz there's a buzz about premium domain names and buyers are becoming more aware about premium domain names and and aftermarket of course and uh, digital india moment and of course world is also going digital so opportunities are there demand is there for a domain name a good domain name right see why i say a uh, good domain name see 
for your startup, what you need? A brand name or a good brand name? Yeah, can you answer it? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Good brand name. Uh -huh. <laughs> awesome brand name, right? Awesome, fantastic. So we need good brand name, we need good domain name as well. And 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 here uh, is another slide how domain after market works. Okay. If I go by technical definition, it says the domain aftermarket is a secondary market for domain names in which party buys a domain name that is already registered with the owner, registered with the existing owner, and buyers can buy directly from the uh, uh, seller and bid or negotiate a price on some platform on uh, aftermarket places for a domain name. Okay. Uh, uh, and 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 of course uh, uh, they buy uh, from registered owner. I mean, who is uh, actually owning that domain name? Okay, and uh, or or sometime uh, you know you buy a domain from a broker. And uh, in in real estate industry, uh, we have brokers who uh, negotiates or who sells. Uh, the the I mean uh, property uh, uh, on behalf of us. So this domain name is online property, a virtual property we can say, a uh, virtual real estate we can say, right? So uh, I mean uh, before uh, going to next slide. You must have seen, I mean, you must have searched so many domain names so far for your brand name or for your friends, uh, friends, uh, uh, you know, brand name, or you must have searched uh, any domain name blindly also. And sometime you find, like if you search on uh, uh, platform like GoDaddy, sometimes you find there's a word called word called premium. This domain name is available. This domain name name is available at this price, and you can read a small tagline there: premium domain names. Okay. Uh, sometimes. It depends upon the domain name. Sometimes it is on sale for 2 lakhs rupees, 10,000 rupees, even 25 lakhs rupees. It depends upon the domain name. Okay. So why GoDaddy sells or why some site sells these domain names for so much premium price? Because GoDaddy or Afternik or other platforms, they are just marketplace. There are domain name investors. There are domainers who registered a domain name, who speculate. Okay, like uh, I, I have seen, you know, uh, this chat GPT is growing from a 1.0 version. It's been, I think, four or five years. And I have seen so many uh, friends of mine booking, uh, you know, GPT dom domains. Chat GPT uh, or like GPT domains, right? I mean, like AI GPT, like insurance GPT, like any, any, uh, they are suffixing, suffixing GPT word with any uh, commercial, commercially viable dictionary word, okay? And what they were doing that time, they were, actually speculating that this market will grow this market will grow and in and in the future so many new businesses will come so many new startup uh, will start uh, you know their business on these uh, verticals a verticals could be anything it could be uh, you know, uh, content, it could be news, it could be video, it could be anything, okay? They speculated that this uh, 
this particular technology will grow and uh, and upcoming startups upcoming businesses would need a, a you know set of domain names okay and some might have booked 100 domain names some some people booked 1000 domain names some 10000 names based on their capacity based on their you know investment they want to invest okay so they speculated or sometime if they uh, you know uh, they find a good domain name they book based on their experience because they have they are learned domain uh, investor you know after two two or three webinars you will also learn the entire game and uh, you will also see the world see the words see the brand name very differently see the signboards very differently and you can see domain names everywhere and you start speculating domain names you start speculating like what kind of technology can come in can jump in and what kind of you know tld will grow tld top level domain like dot io dot ai is uh, at a growing stage these days there are so many companies so many ai companies who are uh, acquiring dot ai domains from the aftermarket secondary domain market okay as you book any domain name, any available domain name, which is not booked by anyone, okay? The moment you book any domain name, it becomes premium. I mean, for me at least, okay? If I, I am owning any domain name, if I have booked 10 domain names in um, medical vertical and... Uh, uh, by taking care of AI and GPT things. If I have 10 domain names and I have paid, uh, you know, 10 to $12, uh, you know, per domain, the moment I buy domain names, it becomes premium because I am now the owner of, the registered owner, owner of those domain names and nobody can take away those domain names from me, okay? If someone has to buy, if some companies uh, have to buy, they have to give me a price. They have to give me a premium price. And you must be, I mean, uh, asking yourself or uh, preparing some dollar domain name the answer of this question is it takes time it takes time it takes a uh, lot of time it takes a uh, you know you have to pass a, a, a learning curve you have to go through a learning curve of domaining you have to see so many uh, you know domaining videos you have to read so many domaining articles some content online and 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 do some uh, practice also then you become a good domainer then you have a you know flair of uh, domaining so it takes time okay and, and you are not just booking domain names you are becoming brand name consultant for future businesses you are becoming brand name consultant for future startups okay that's why you take money because this is also serious kind of business so that's a game and you must have seen like facebook has changed their uh i mean its name to uh, meta and they were not holding meta.com with them. They bought it from the aftermarket. Aftermarket means, I mean, that do domain must have uh, with uh, someone, some, some company, and they bought that domain name from that person or from that company, okay? Facebook started their, uh, you know, initial 
social media portal with the name the facebook.com because facebook.com was not available that time after they started their journey and and after a couple of years they bought they acquired the facebook sorry they acquired facebook.com the smaller one the, uh, the smaller one right and and after uh, you know uh, passing after a couple of years that fb terms that fb acronym be became so popular so popular that facebook had to buy fb.com also i mean these are millions uh, uh, dollar deals these the, the, these are you know million dollar worth the domain names sometime sometime as a new startup you don't need uh, you know, uh, I mean, costly or expensive domain. What happens? Sometimes you want to grow. Sometimes you want to expand your business. Sometimes you want to enter into, uh, you know, more verticals. And sometimes you end in, ending up uh, with, uh, you know, by changing your brand. You end up changing your brand with some... Uh, better version or something like that like like in the recent past grofer has changed their name they renamed themselves as uh, blanket okay and uh, uh, and monster monster.com they have also changed their name to found it okay because sometime they align themselves with different vision or uh, broader vision, I can say, okay. So, so and they change domain name. And sometimes people change their brand name or domain name as uh, I, I mean uh, by the guidance of the their numerologists. Actually, <laughs> sometimes it also happens. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. Namrata is saying uh, uh, she has now a double M in his, uh, yeah, sorry, in her name. Yeah, yeah. So, so it happens, right? So, okay, and I'll give you one more example. Uh, I mean, how this aftermarket works. Suppose you want to start a startup uh, for uh, uh, a business of uh, berry juice, fresh berry juice. Before starting business, what do you do? You, you, uh, you know, you think of some names, some brand names, okay? And, and these days, definitely, you will check domain names as well okay because you need a domain name of your brand name of course suppose you name your uh, uh, suppose now you have 10 uh, you know alternate uh, 10 uh, 10 options for your brand as a brand name right what do you do you log in pick i mean this is good this is average this is best and suppose you picked five brand names. Now what, what you will do? You will search the availability of domain name, not you. Anybody, anybody who is willing to start a startup, start a business, start a manufacturing unit, unit start an e-commerce store, start blog, any anything, any online identity you can think of. Okay. So the moment they check what uh, the domain registrar portal says, they might say, uh, sorry, this domain is not available, already taken by someone else. Yes, of course, for your all the five names which you uh, thought, that what will you, what will you do? Will you think more domain names? Sometimes yes, and suppose all the five websites are uh, 
built and uh, ran by some good companies or you know they are working good i mean they have already websites so some sometimes you don't want to you know go with them and ask them for a domain name of course sometimes you have to acquire the whole company to get one domain name and sometimes there might be uh, two or three of uh, from your five domain names they might be on sale for 10000 rupees for 2 lakhs for 25 lakhs it depends upon the uh, you know your budget your vision alignment if you are uh, okay buying a 2 lakhs rupees domain name you will definitely buy it okay see a good domain name is good for audience good for your growth good for your business good for your advertisements okay uh, okay so and, and uh, spending 2 lakhs rupees is worth it that depends that depends see if you don't have money sometimes you buy you know uh, you know 10000 rupees worth domain name if you like that domain name sometimes you end up buying fresh domain name and sometimes you think let's uh, book this 10 to 12 dollar domain name if if after six months if i own well then i will buy the, that particular that desired domain name or be uh, raise uh, funds funding round suppose before it, it 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 may happen before funding round i have seen so many companies before funding round they buy their desired domain names because domain names play huge roles in the business believe me that's why this domain aftermarket uh, exists and you can google it i mean there are a lot of company buying so many domain names a lot of company changing their brand name of course they need a domain name a lot of companies uh, is uh, looking for a, a shorter version of their name so these are the things I mean, these are the factors and in next webinar, I will also show you practically by using those platforms, who, why and how they will buy the domain. I just told you, sometimes brand wants to change their brand. And new businesses, startups, online store, blogs, affiliates, of course, they need a domain name, a good domain name. <laughs> Yes, yes, Sangeeta Chaudhary. Yes, yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> See, Sangeeta is saying uh, she got uh, at least 20 uh, brand names for her uh, business and she didn't find any domain name for, uh, uh, I mean, these, uh, uh, those words. So, oh, okay. She's saying like uh, one domain is uh, uh, how much? Two, 20 lakhs. Uh, two, two crore rupees. Okay, two crore some lakh. Yeah, it may happen. You must have, uh, you know, thought of, I mean, great domain name per se. Yes, yes. You have to pay cost for a good domain name. Uh, like uh, like uh, uh, there are so many developers, there are so many individuals, there are there are so many HNIs who uh, buy multiple lands before metro line comes. <laughs> so and after that they sell because they are investing their money in certain uh, commodities, certain assets. Okay, and domain names are also assets. They are virtual assets. So in the same way, some people are investing in good domain names. And uh, so, so the Sangeeta, how long uh, will it take to think those uh, all 20 names? Ah. <laughs> nine days so think of a domain name investor 
if they have to buy a one domain name, good domain name, sometimes they have to invest their nine days. Sometimes they have to, uh, uh, you know, use some online tools, which I will cover next time. Okay, sometimes they need to keep themselves updated with the uh, with the technology, with the startup ecosystem, and uh, with the, uh, multiple things. So it is a, a serious job, serious business actually. And brands look for shorter and memorable names. Brand wants better alternative to their dom domains. Of course, we have seen in uh, past, like I gave you example of Grofers, and uh, they, they have changed their name to Blinkit. Okay, so next slide. Uh, a few domain names uh, by our uh, uh, I mean, past uh, attendees couple of years ago, basically, like uh, you can see buying price $10 and selling price $499. And you can see $10 buying price, selling price $375, sometimes $299. And holding time was less than a year. And profit 50 times, 37 times, 30 times. Is it lucrative to you, startup guys? <laughs> Yes, yes. See, in 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 the practical in the practical world, even ten x is far difficult. Yeah, most difficult things to do. But this is also true. If you start investing in domains, you won't sell. You won't sell all the domains. Sometime it can also sell if 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 magic happens. But. You'll sell, sell, sell a couple of domain names and selling even 1% of your domain portfolio will cover your entire cost and give you some and some profits as well. And you can see the platform after Nick and GoDaddy. Okay. And you can see the domain names Memphis Travel Agency.com, Translate Legal Documents, Professional Photography Services.com. Uh, roster Realtors, Roofer Plano, Mythology, Books.com, Medicine, Roof Repair.com. Okay, these are the domain names. Okay, three, three word domain names, two word domain names. Now you will ask, why the hell I, I mean, how, how to, you know, uh, find these kind of domain names. I mean, even how to think of this domain name, how how one can think of this uh, these domain names like do for Plano, you know, uh, Memphis Travel Agency or translate legal documents. So difficult to think, but you don't need to think. There are so many, you know, online tools available. There are so many expiring domain names daily. I mean, uh, I mean, and, and these all, uh, these all domain names were booked in the GoDaddy closeout platforms, and uh, some might be they have bought from GoDaddy expiry domains. Okay, so there's a tool you put a travel keyword, you will uh, see so many do, uh, you know expiring domain names, and and you know and you will book. Uh, what you'll do, you'll book, uh, you know, some set of domain names based on your experience, based on based on your uh, experience of some particular niche, okay? And you list those name uh, domain names on platforms like Afternet, like Sedo.com, like Tan.com, and you'll get inquiry, and you end up selling a. Uh, name for handsome price, handsome amount. And uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Sangeeta is asking, no, no, there is no need to uh, engage yourself uh, as full-time domainer. You can do it part-time. You can do it two hours a week. You can do it uh, two hours a month. Yes. But, but you have to, you know, go through that small learning curve okay you have to take at least certificate or diploma in domaining 
I mean, informally I'm saying, right? So you have to learn something, okay? And and because if if see see even any startup you are doing, if you do any startup without learning, without knowing things, you will definitely fail. And uh, and opportunities are immense. You can see these three words domains are fetching sales okay and holding time is less than a year sometimes it, it it can be two years three years depending on the domain name depending on the you know sometimes you speculate something uh happening after five years and you hold that domains for five years and if you hold any uh the domain for five years and that uh that that uh, that that technology that uh, trend is growing rapidly then you will definitely yield uh, that that domain particularly definitely yield you some very handsome price some very handsome domain name yes yeah, sometimes you see it it may happen sometime you book a domain name for uh, $12, $12, $15, and uh, sometimes you sell after two months for $100,000. It, it, it may happen. Okay. It it happened with me as well, my uh, dominus colleague also, with my dominus colleague also. Hmm? Uh, yeah, most of the clients from uh, yeah US, Canada, UK, but uh, in India, uh, that uh, awareness is happening. The startup ecosystem is so great, and people are aware, and people uh, now know the you know the the very uh, uh, I mean value of a good brand name. So Indian companies are also buying good domain names. You have seen that. Uh, housing.com, you have seen geo.in, geo.com. They all were aftermarket buyers, yes. So category of domain names. Let's talk about, I mean, what kind of category exists. Gen generic names. Generic names are those like, I mean, like that, uh, like this term sales. Any any uh, commercially viable dictionary word like computer.com, software.com, and brandable brandable domains names are uh, on which you can create a brand name. You can create your startup like Blinkit, like Grofer, like Gadmo, like uh, um, like Freshworks. Okay. EMDs are exact match domains. That means uh, whatever you type in Google to search anything, if you combine that uh, by removing that space and, uh, and suffix with any extension in the word, that domain, that phrase, that, that phrase becomes exact match domains. Okay. Yes, yes. Keyword names. I mean, name which includes one or more than one keyword. Um, uh, GeoEMD, uh, like if uh, uh, any EMD is prefixed or suffixed by any ge geographical location, it becomes uh, GeoEMD, uh, geographical exact match domain, uh, to be precise. CCTLDs are like, uh, I told you how dot in smartphone dot jp google dot code. These are sorry country code uh, domain name. Now domain name types investor perspective right brandable names. Here I'm trying to show you uh, the sweet spot of uh, you know the the standard selling price of the domain name which is happening these days brandable names 1500 to 4000 dollars sometimes sometimes it sells for uh, 10000 or more than 10000 dollars but i am showing you 
a standard figure from the uh, um, I mean uh, from the experience of domainers. EMDs two hundred to nine hundred dollar. It is good to invest twelve dollar to uh, uh, twelve dollar and earn two hundred dollar. It is good to uh, it is it's a good amount and uh, geo EMD. $200 to $600 liquid domains. Liquid domains are those which can change hand easily. Like acronyms like abc.com, buv.com, okay, numeric numbers, alphanumeric, short domains names, basically. Okay, domain typos. I have so many colleagues who are a fan of domain typos because um, can you see the domain name horoscope.com? Horus see, horoscope.com is a big site. Shopping.com is a big big site. What uh, they have done, they bought uh, a type of that particular domain name. What this typer does, if some, I mean, if someone, uh, you know, uh, uh, Type typos in URL and press enter. This particular site uh, will open up with some ads. Those are parking pages. Those are parking ads. And after uh, user user clicks on those ads, they will get uh, uh, their ad revenue share. The domain owner, of course, the domain investor, we can say. And yes, if you buy five domain names, you will become domain investor. Even if you buy one domain name, if you buy one land, one property, one flat, you will become a real estate investor. It is true. Dictionary words, computer.com, software.com, and they sell for 30 price. I mean, and these are not, uh, you know, uh, rules. These are standards. These are general standards which I'm showing you some sweet spot, uh, some uh, you know price range, which uh, for which domain name sells. See, after acquiring domain name, after buying land or after buying flat in some good society, what you'll do if you want to sell, you will find a broker and uh, list your uh, property with them or you will go to 99acre.com or other property listing website and you will list your property okay in the same way if you buy a domain name for uh, uh, sale okay if you are if you are really venturing into this business the moment you buy a domain name, you have to list it for sale. You don't know when prospect will come. You don't know. Okay. And uh, listing is very important. Like if you have, if you want to buy, sorry, if you want to sell secondhand stuff like your old fridge or your old washing machine, what do you do? You put it on uh, OLX.in or some other uh, websites and you'll get, uh, you know, inquiries and you'll end up uh, selling those stuff. In the same way, you need to list domain names in various platforms, the, uh, you know, two, three big platforms like uh, uh, Affinix, Sedo, GoDaddy, and there are other platforms also. But if you list in, uh, you know, uh, like I say, like I list only on Affinix. If I list on Affinix, I'm happy selling my uh, domain names to them. And I will uh, show you in next slide the, what is the benefit of uh, listing your domain at after it. And of course, you should list at the every possible big, big platform, not smaller ones. Okay. Like after it, Shadow, GoDaddy, and Dan.com, dan DAN.com, you can list on those platforms as well. And having landing page with inquiry form is important. If you put your domain names in Affinite, you'll get uh, you'll get an option to choose uh, the various landing pages. 
the make an offer page where uh, wherein your prospect can make you an offer for a domain name or buy now lenders you know where you can put your domain name for like uh, uh, for example five hundred dollar or thousand dollar and you will uh, 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 you know and then you'll have a buy now uh, button there where user can click and put their credit card information and pay okay and landing page versus parking page. See, landing pages are like I have told you, like landing page has, you know, a smart, neat, and clean, uh, uh, you know, your uh, sales pitch page, I can say. And parking page uh, uh, generally have, uh, you know, advertisement on uh, the, the, the page. Advertisement from any verticals, it can be uh related to your uh, domain as well suppose you you are having uh, uh property broker dot com and 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 you have parked that particular domain name and uh, and that 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 ad network will automatically push most of the time automatically push the ads related to your domain name right and give special treatment to brandables like the like if you buy any brandable domains special treatment means if you have time or if you have you know small team you can ask them to create a good logo okay and you can uh, you know uh, host that particular site so, somewhere as a startup as a new uh, business you must be having a cloud space and you can uh, you know, uh, host your domain for free for, I mean, special domain, brandable domain, or, you know, premium domain, super premium domains you can host, you can make the 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 logo and you can also put couple of, uh, I mean, content of couple of pages as well, having uh, WordPress on it. I mean, it is easy to do that. It's, it's maybe one or two hours job for a domain name to make all the good treatments. That treatment will fetch you with money. Yes, yes, yes. Canva, Canva too, you can use it. Yes, definitely. And be contactable via who is. Your who is should be approachable. I mean to say, you should not put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as your mobile number. Okay. You should put your, uh, you know, contactable number. It can be your official number. It can be your personal number. If you don't want to uh, reveal your information as a registrant, then you can opt for a privacy, uh, you know, page of uh, service of registrant as well, as well, and your and landing page. You should be contactable by landing page also. What if you'll get, uh, you know, uh, you, what if you are getting a couple of offers via landing page and, and you are not checking even your emails? What will happen? You will lose some good sales. Okay. So you should be contactable via accruals. Okay. Now, why listing at uh, Afanik is important, as I said in my earlier slide. See, I'm a lazy guy. I buy domain names and just click on that go, go daddy button listed to Afanik. I mean, it will happen in a moment. Okay. So I'll tell you is the, the this uh, uh, thing in next upcoming uh, workshop of uh, domain listing, right? Aftermic is the world's top domain name market uh, place. I mean, they have more than tw uh, uh, more than twenty million premium domain names listed. Okay, and and they are receiving more than seventy five million domain searches every month. So, the exposure for your domain name is great. Domain names get exposure through standard uh, network resellers plus promotion on the platform of top domain. Registrar in the world like name.com, register.com, diner.com. Okay, that means if you list your domain uh, on afternic.com, if somebody 
searching that particular domain name or some keyword from your particular domain name uh, in um, um, suppose in name.com or enom.com your domain will get exposure okay yeah they have certain api integrated so that uh, your domain can be seen on these very uh, uh, you know platforms you will get neat and clean landing pages and option for installment installment for select domain if you put domain name for sale if you opt a uh, option like you can uh, you know uh, you are ready to take uh, uh, domain payment as installment so if you enable that option then your buyer can pay you uh, in, in installment like 6 12 or you know 24 whatever you have decided to take right this will boost your sale certainly this will boost your sale and uh, uh, suppose see as a startup you can think of if they if there's a domain for two lakhs rupees okay and if you get opportunity to take that domain for 24 installment you will definitely take it am i right Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> even uh, like uh, Samriddhi is saying, even uh, the, any domain for 20 lakhs rupees, I can buy in installment as well. Okay, you must be super rich then. <laughs> Just joking. Now, uh, fast transfer domains. They have a feature called fast transfer, like Suppose you have your domain name with name.com, dyna.com, or other provider, okay? Uh, if they have tie up with afternic.com for fast transfer process, then if you list your domain name in afternic.com, and if buyer buys that uh, particular domain, that then this uh, uh, transition, that, uh, the, the transfer process, will happen quickly yes and and they they can they, and then buyer can take control of a domain name immediately you can say okay. it will take some time but i mean this fast transfer process will definitely help you okay hmm. uh benefit of listing at godaddy you must have seen like uh, GoDaddy is, uh, uh, I mean, dominant platform for domain names. Whether uh, if you, whether if you talk about new domain names, hosting, or you know other other uh, web 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 related uh, products, and uh, Afternic.com is also the the part of GoDaddy. Yes. So. If you list at Afternic, GoDaddy will already pick your domain name. If somebody, some end user will search any domain name at GoDaddy, the domain will be picked by the Afternic. And GoDaddy.com will show like, hey, this domain name is for uh, 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 available at this much premium price. Of course, if you list your domain name, you'll get the benefit of huge brand reach via, with, via advertisement targeting and users. GoDaddy does that. Trust of end user. Uh, end users trust GoDaddy. And, go, and, and they also have investor-friendly interface. Okay? Like you can uh, perform some bulk operations for changing your who is changing your profile you can make a couple of different different folders like uh, you know like low price domains highly priced domains kind of that right the most creative advertiser in domain name industry and i uh, appreciate uh, good idea for this because you know you have seen so many advertisement that barberwala advertisement you have seen uh, right and and uh, and and they have picked good influencer, good celebs from the uh, Bollywood and the uh, cricket world. Okay, so 
and they and they have uh, most uh, practical ecosystem and tools for domain investors as well okay ha huh. if you have a domain name one thing what what you do you list a domain name and second thing what would happen you can outreach someone to sell your domain names you can ask your team to outreach for uh, this domain name like you are having leatherstyle.com then you can uh, you know outreach all the leather commerce company uh, i mean who sells leather uh, products on their website you can ask your team members to outreach them via anything i mean e via email outreach you you can google uh, suppose you want to outreach some leather companies in uh, us of course you can google it and you can also type like top 10 leather products websites you'll get uh, uh, websites okay top 10 top 20 top 50 and if you type similar website of this websites you will get more website so this way you'll get more and more websites and if you get more and more websites you will uh, you can have the 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 email address of uh, the contactable person the decision maker person from their website from their linkedin page from their facebook twitter page and you know you know how how to outreach people and one simple you know outreach in turn can outreach uh, uh, you know uh, some set of people for your domain name or you can outreach via sms whatsapp phone call or you can hire a broker if you have a good domain name and you want to share some uh, good commission uh, to an individual broker then you can hire a broker and your your broker will do the job for you you should have some etiquettes in life <laughs> outreaching etiquettes so in your um, you know while outreaching you should have outreaching etiquettes as well like be polite do not spam anyone even via email or uh, you know maintain some frequency like don't send them mail daily on the daily basis send uh, one mail a week for uh, two three weeks then after that you can send uh, one mail a month and then again you can uh, follow up then uh, follow up with then after 40 50 days see you can create your own frequency you know if somebody is trying to outreach you for something what is that that point that will not bother you so maintain uh, those create uh, a standard based on uh, those uh, things follow best time to reach out okay mondays are not good <laughs> believe me because mondays we have a lot of uh, things to do after weekend so uh, i mean tuesday evenings wednesday morning are good time slots i mean mornings are good uh, based on my experience and unless after if someone asks to unsubscribe some sometime um uh, people will mail you ki hey uns unsubscribe me i don't know your emails uh, I, i don't want your emails then you should you have to unsubscribe them ethically right and of course while outreaching you should uh, you know uh, double check your spellings typos grammars so that your email should look profession okay ah apart from the uh, domain by buying selling you can have these revenue model as well domain parking you can park your domain name and uh, fetch some good revenue through cash parking you can create a website and make you know do some se on that website or ask your team to do se sell them you know you, you can have affiliate program 
okay if 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 you have created some websites you can uh, you know uh, ask your team to do minimalistic seo on uh, uh, that particular site and uh, you can opt for some affiliate program and of course the fourth option you can uh, generate leads for yourself you can uh, generate uh, leads for your industry colleague and you can sell those uh, leads to them right so now q a and uh, after this webinar, you should visit youtube.com slash domain aftermarket pro. This is our YouTube channel. And uh, you can watch um, uh, videos related to other topics as well. And I will definitely take uh, one or two uh, more uh, webinar for you guys to show some uh, tools, so to show some uh, things practically, OK? So, and the last, not the least, you should join our WhatsApp group. For that, you just, uh, you know, uh, scan this code and you'll get our uh, uh, WhatsApp link on your uh, mobile phone, right? Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask. Please feel free to... Uh, Throw some questions at me. Yes, I'm very. Uh, I'm getting uh, questions. Okay. So I'm stopping my screen. Uh, yes, I have a question from. Uh, Anuradha, where to buy domain names to resell? You can, uh, Anuradha, you can buy domain name uh, from, you know, any website, you know. I generally buy uh, uh, domain from uh, godaddy.com. And uh, I just buy and, uh, you know, just click, click, click and... Uh, list my domain name for sale i i buy from godaddy and there are some people uh, uh, i mean if they get some um, uh, you know offered some good offers from some other company sometimes they want to uh, uh, save one or two dollar in one domain sometimes they buy from multiple provider but believe me it is difficult to buy difficult to it is easy to buy from uh, uh it is easy to buy a domain name uh your domain names from multiple provider but it is very difficult to manage you know renewals or you know man uh, i mean it is difficult to remember or check you know your uh, uh, emails your uh, things your uh, stuff because if you have all your domains in with one provider what you can do you can do tick 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 and you can do multiple renewals you don't need to log in multiple uh, platform that is based on my experience but i have so many colleagues who buy, buy domain uh, from 20 30 providers in the world right <laughs> Because they think they are saving their one dollar, but for me, they are spending their time. Okay. And you have to think what is the most precious thing for you, one dollar, two dollar, or a time. That is your call. Prince Chopra, can I sell any domain? Yes, Prince, you can sell any domain, but the possession of domain should be with you only. Okay. Don't try to buy or sell. Uh, like domain like facebook.com or google.com or your friend's domain. You can sell any domain. You should be the owner of that particular domain name. Amit, uh, to sell domain, do we first need to buy? Of course. If you want to sell property, what you should do, you, you have to buy that property first, then they sell, then earn some uh, premium. Otherwise, this option, you can uh, become a broker, domain broker. In case of brokering, you don't need to buy, okay? 
मोहनीश हाउ मच शुड बी इन्वेस्ट इन द बिगनिंग सी दैट इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन आई मस्ट से सी इन्वेस्टमेंट इज अ थिंग सी आई कैनॉट टेल यू द एग्जैक्ट अमाउंट यू नो बट बट यू नो बेज ऑन माई एक्सपीरियंस एंड बेज ऑन द यू नो डोमिनस कम्युनिटी वी हैव इट इज वाइज टू टेक इट इज वाइज टू टेक Ten to fifteen domains initially. I mean, you can start with fifteen, twenty thousand rupees. That's not a rule, but that is based on my experience. You should have at least ten to fifteen domains, okay? And you should uh, list those uh, domains, and you should also try or ask your team to uh, outreach for that particular domain name. Mohanish, um, yes, yes, yeah, we'll be having uh, outreach uh, domain outreach complete domain outreaching session uh, in upcoming month. Yes, Pankaj, I have heard about domain selling, but uh, today's webinar open my eyes completely. Thank you so much, Pankaj. Thank you so much. Amit uh, again looking for next webinar where you will show things. Yeah, sure. Definitely, I will post date and I will also uh, you know uh, post uh, the webinar dates in your community group as well. So, Dhaka Tripathi, any mobile app for domaining? See. when you say any mobile app for domaining i don't know what do you mean by that but i must say one thing you should download godaddy investor app but i'm not saying you start buying uh, domain names and like from tonight first learn all the things okay if you know or if you already have any idea about domain name you can definitely start buying from tonight okay otherwise you can download that app and you can see what kind of domain names are selling auctioning and for what price and how old uh, 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 are uh, uh, they right what kind of uh, uh you know trend is happening what kind of categories is selling hot okay and you can learn those things by watching these kind of auctions at the godaddy investor app okay and that will be become great assistant to you okay although you can also google godaddy garage and they have uh, decent uh, articles and one on one of domain investing guide as well and i will also send some uh, links in your group amit i am godaddy customer but this is the first time i am learning what domaining is okay 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 then amit you should have uh, you know open all the pages all the section of the godaddy then you would have learned it <laughs> kushal i am also surprised to learn godaddy created this ecosystem yes i mean this ecosystem is very old i mean after nick is very old website and i think approx one decade ago godaddy acquired the after nick.com to expand their horizon uh Uh, for, into the uh, this uh, secondary market business okay and there there are a lot of big sales happened in uh, godaddy in the past and it is happening uh, every day every month actually ah uh, yes godaddy and after nick is uh, one you can say one yes after nick is godaddy's company okay Ah, uh, any any more questions, guys? You can uh, throw me some. I'll be happy to answer that. Yes, yes. 
हाँ हाँ राइट यस यस डेफिनेटली थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच यस 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 यू शुड वेट फॉर नेक्स्ट वेबिनार ईगरली आई 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 अग्री विद योर स्टेटमेंट ओके एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वेबिनार व्हाट वी विल डू आई विल यू नो रन यू थ्रू अ जर्नी ऑफ यू नो डोमेनिंग I mean, selecting uh, domain names and listing that domain name and and some uh, fundamental of outreach as well. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, no more questions. Okay, 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 okay. ठीक है, right? So thank you all, and uh, my special thank goes to Mr. Pankaj. Mr. Pankaj, looking forward to do more webinars uh, for this uh, Startup India group. And now I am also part of this group, so you can uh, ask uh, any questions, any domaining related questions. And apart from domaining, if you need any help in you know SaaS product or uh, D2C brand, I'm there and I'll be more than happy to do that. Right. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, good evening. Yes, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's evening. It's evening now. We have started in uh, afternoon at afternoon uh, time. So, chalo, bye bye. See you. Good night. Thank you all. See you next time. Bye bye.